Hmm. Kind of like, I feel like a celebrity or like an NFL player, like you're under contract, like your body isn't really yours. Right. Well, we'll just see how this goes. Well, especially for you, almost four years in a row. That's, that's big time. And our, so you'll see our team, um, they're, they're just hopping on here. I know um, we have Adrian, Annette, Laura. We're, a lot of us are based in St. Louis. We have some in Chicago, in um, Kansas City. And we are getting closer and closer to an Emerald team, and I'm super excited. But we have had constant momentum and a lot of rank-ups, and um, we are just want to keep the momentum going. And you are kind of this icon for, for all of us. We use a lot of your videos for training and just wanted to, to bring you on. I mean, obviously, I probably wouldn't have to do an introduction for you because we all know who you are, but for those of us that uh, are newer, um, you are 27, is that right? Yes. Um, mother of two boys, almost a mother of a third, a girl who is going to be coming in about four to five weeks. <laughs> if we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. And you are, we have a couple of, uh, I work for a travel company and we have a lot of uh, my coworkers on the team and we are on the Edward Jones account. So for all of you that don't know, Emily used to be a BOA which is a branch office assistant in the Edward Jones office. So that hits close to home for a lot of us. So I will let you, you take it away. And thank you so much for being on here. Absolutely. So um, if I am out of breath, just bear with me. Um, I, was, I was telling Nicole before we got started, I'm having Braxton Hicks right now, and I just ate like half a bowl of oatmeal. So um, what you see is what you get tonight. Um, I want to motivate you guys. We're coming into the holidays, and it's the it's the end of the year. So this is like uh, you'll hear. Hopefully, y'all can still hear me. You'll hear a lot about harvesting and planting seeds, and um, you'll, that terminology is used over and over in this business. Well, it really does matter right now. Because we have New Year resolutions coming up, a brand new year. People like to do the whole new year, new you thing. And the beauty of self in our, our industry is that people need us. And they come to us when this stuff happens. So as your October just winded down, we're headed into November, I want you to ask yourself some questions. Uh, how many people did I talk to? How many new friends did I have on Facebook? How many people did I train? If you, ha if you have a growing team, how many people did I train? How many, time how many times did I stop what I was doing and FaceTime someone, jump on a Zoom, uh, do some one-on-one -on -one training? Um, I want you to ask yourself those questions. If you feel like your business is stagnant, which right now it shouldn't be, it should be like moving and grooving because we're – right near the holidays and um, people don't want to gain weight for Christmas, right? I don't think that's on anybody's Christmas list. So if you feel like your business is stagnant, you have to put yourself into action. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, I, I already know this. Um, if you don't follow some sort of IPA worksheet, and if for any reason that you didn't know what an IPA was, it's income producing activity. We want you to bring in money, honey. Like, that's what we want you to do. Obviously, we want you to help others use your products, but at the end of the day, I want you to be successful. I want you to have a paycheck. So if you're not using an IPA worksheet to keep you centered, to keep you focused on your dreams and your goals, how do you keep track of that, right? A lot of the time, we, we cast vision on our fears and what we're so afraid to do and what holds us back. We don't talk enough about what we want out of this. We don't keep ourselves accountable. Instead, we focus on that negative stuff, um, and then we dwell on that, and then we play the comparison game, and, well, why am I only gold, and she's already seen your gold, she joined after I did, and it's like a vicious cycle, right? Instead of going, okay, here's my IPA worksheet, or here's what I'm working on, I got this and this done, but, oh, I, okay, I need, I need some accountability in, in adding friends on Facebook. I need some accountability of doing more Facebook lives. So if you feel like your business is slowing down or in, you're stuck in a rut, I hate the, the phrase, I'm stuck, because that's a choice. You don't have to be. Um, when, when you're there, what are you doing to create action? What are you doing to create momentum? And 
We cannot motivate anybody. That motivation comes from within. It's literally like raising the dead. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Inactives, people that join you and they're like, I'm going to be Dash Start Gold. And you're like, oh my gosh, my Celeste win. And then they do nothing. They order once. They never create a convenience order. Um, it's crickets every time you reach out and you're like, they hate me. What did I do? And it's really about timing. It's really about um, how they learn, how they perceive things. Um, there's no right thing that you could say or no wrong thing. That motivation is internal. You just have to have it. And all of our motivation is on, the, on a different clock. So let's, let's focus on what we can do as we get closer to the holidays. Five things that I like to share with my team all the time when it comes to the holidays and being around tons of people. For instance, when you are out shopping, you better have samples on you at all times. Go spend $24 to $38 on myplexusprint.com and get yourself a on your reach month. Of course, I moved them so they're not within reach. Um, go get yourself, good Lord, when you're pregnant, you can't reach anything. If it's on the floor, I'm leaving it. Okay, get yourself a rack card. Um, or a, a sample card. Um, they have both. This one is one that you could place like in a rack at a doctor's office or nail salon, but they also have the ones that have like a blank thing so you can tape a, a packet of slim on it. All your information comes on it. You customize it. It's like 25 bucks for, for a hundred or $40 for 250. I don't know. It's very reasonable and it's an investment for your business. If you are out shopping which I know online shopping is way more convenient, but if you're out shopping, take, take samples with you. Talk to people. I asked you a second ago, how many people did you talk to in October? Can you honestly count on your fingers and toes like 10, 20 new people that you talk to? You're not talking to new people. How are you building new relationships? And if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're like, Emily, really? I talk to toddlers all day long. Um, so do I. That's the beauty of social media and engaging and asking questions as a Facebook status. Um, but that you have to talk to people. So when you're out shopping, talk to those retail workers. Talk to them. Um, ask them, you know, like, are you a seasonal worker? Are you, how long have you worked here? Oh my gosh, I bet you're on your feet all day long. Your feet hurt at the end of the day. Oh, well, looky here. I have this East Cream sample and I want you to try it. And a matter of fact, uh, what's your name? I'm going to add you on Facebook so that I can message you later when you get home and you can tell me if that East Cream made your feet feel so much better. My mom worked in retail for four years at Bath & Body Works. If you've ever been to a Bath & Body Works, you know those women and guys that work in there on their feet. Um, they get like 300 to 400 bucks of shipment every day that they have to, you know, the turnover rate's crazy because that means Bath & Body Works. People are in and out of there like crazy. And she loves her ease, capsules and creams. Like, it's beyond the fish. I know some of y'all like, that stuff stinks. I don't care. It's magic. It is magic. And your retail people are going to love you this holiday season because you have samples on you. No, I'm trying to get right? So, uh, sample cards, samples, shopping, talk to people, right? We're all on the same page. If you have your video on, just like nod. <laughs> I know everybody just like stares at me. So I'm like, okay, yes, okay. Cool. Um, that's, that's the first tip is just when you're out shopping, acknowledge people. Don't be the bah humbug shopper that gets in and out. Like Black Friday, eh, that's okay. But all the other days that you're out shopping, put your makeup on, wear your Plexus shirt. Um, if you don't have a Plexus shirt, buy one for your kid, make them wear it. I mean, it's free marketing right there. I send my kid to, to his school and I'm like, Plexus kid right there. So people are like, oh, your mom does Plexus. And he will tell you all about it. He's three. So use your resources. But that's the first thing is um, when, you, when you leave your house, have stuff on hand ready to go. The second thing is when someone says, or you're wearing your Plexus shirt, and they're like, oh, you do Plexus. Don't just look at them like this and like freak out and like be a deer in headlights. Answer them. Get excited. Let them like let them feel your radiation of plexus and all things great about our supplements. And then go, yes, I do. Like own it. Okay. Don't be like, mm -hmm. like, no, come on. Tell them all about it. Be like, yes, have you ever tried it? Oh my gosh, you would love it. Um, here, here's a sample. Are you on Facebook? Add me on Facebook. I stopped using business cards a year and a half ago. Facebook is my business card. Okay. 
Um, I rather spend money on this because it has information on it that I cannot remember because I'm not a scientist. Um, I rather spend money on that and get people on my Instagram or Facebook. Um, if they don't have either one of those, um, the beauty of having a cell phone like in our hand 24 seven is okay. What's your number? I'm going to text you. But, um, but communicating with people and talking to them and making them feel good and, and then showing your excitement. So when they ask you that and you say yes, or they say, well, what I see this plexus stuff everywhere. I saw it on my Facebook. What is it? Do you have a 30 second response? Some people call it an elevator speech, which usually is more addressed to your business approach. But for you, what is your 30 second response? For instance, you're in the elevator with somebody, right? Doctor's appointment. Um, you're in the, you're in the mall, right? And you're in the elevator and someone looks over at you and they're like, Oh, plexus. What is that? I keep seeing it. You have 30 seconds for those doors open. What are you going to say? What lasting impression are you going to have so that they want to walk out of the elevator with you and keep talking? What are you going to say that keeps them wanting more? So at Super Saturday, um, I don't think it was the one that I met you guys at, but this, this, the previous one of last year, we role played and we, and they brought me on stage and they were like, Emily, what is your 30 seconds elevator speech? And I was like, hold on, I gotta go write one because I don't know. Um, I teach this all the time, but like, it just comes naturally. I haven't, I didn't write it down. So I'm pretty sure I have it in my phone because it's something that I like to not necessarily memorize, but <laughs> I like to have it down. So this is what I have in my phone. Tweak it, make it your own, use mine if it's, if it's the same as yours. But in 30 seconds, I'm going to say this. Oh my gosh, yes, I love Plexus. So I struggled to lose 20 pounds, even though I was eating right and working out. My friend was posting on Facebook. I rolled my eyes for 15 months. But let me tell you, once I tried it, I noticed immediately that I was sleeping better. I had more energy. And the best part is that, yeah, I lost that 20 pounds, but here I am three years later and I've retired my husband out of the room. Or at the time I put, you know, in just three months in, I replaced my corporate America income. Um, so get creative. Um, think of the FTC disclosure chart that we have. Think about um, little things that added up that you don't have to spend money on, but get creative. What is gonna have them sit there and go, hmm, I need to know more about this. 30 seconds. What are you gonna say in 30 seconds? That is something you need to have on hand at all times. Um, another version that I shared would, would be um, you're sitting at the park, right? Most of us have kids, we go to the park. Uh, now that the, the weather is a lot colder, well, you guys are probably like freezing. Um, it, it was 80 today in Texas. But uh, if you're at the park and the weather is nice and people are, you're sitting down and that mom, that mom that talks to everybody, right? She comes and sits down next to you on the bench and you're like, I can't, I'm, this is it. Like I'm at park jail. I cannot get up and move. I'm going to have to talk to her. It is what it is. And she finally goes, Oh, your shirt. So what is plexus? What do you do? And you just like, maybe you don't want her on your team. That's okay. Be nice. Answer her question anyways. Right? So um, my response to someone like that is, I offer hope back to tired mommies and daddies. That's my, my opening liner. And um, I used to say I'm a hope dealer, but so many people thought I was saying something else. So I was like, I need to just change that because this is not going the way I want to do. And then I'll lead into my story of, you know, three and a half years ago, I was buried deep in college responsibilities. I was a brand new mom. My husband was deployed across the world and I was in a deep, dark place. I needed something outside of working out and eating right to help me feel better. But then I also needed a way to fulfill my family's needs and to contribute. So my friend posted on Facebook. I asked her about joining. I joined for the discount and here we are now. I'm making a substantial residual income every single month because I tell people about these products. Simple, 30 seconds. What can you say? What can you share in 30 seconds? So that's the second thing you need to have on hand through the holidays. The first thing was samples. The second thing was your elevator speech, ready to go. So when you do give someone that sample, 
or you are wearing that cute Christmas plexus shirt and someone's like, what is it? You don't freeze. And oh, don't get me wrong, three and a half years later, there are times where the cashier at Walmart or Target's like, what's plexus? And I'm like, it's a pink drink. Like, I just freak out. And that's the first thing that comes out of my mouth. And they're like, oh. And I'm like, yeah. And then I walk off. Like, really? I could have just changed your life, homie. And I freak out. So um, it's going to happen. Every now and then, you're just going to have those moments where you're just like, I suck. Like, why do I do this? Like, why do I help people? Because that was just awful. Um, and there's times when you're going to walk out of the store and your husband's going to like nudge you and be like, you could have told her about it. I'm like, I don't know. Thank you. I'm aware. So it is what it is. But it, um, I digress. All right. The third thing that you need to have as you're going through the holidays is three to 12 packs of this lemon block or a bottle of block on you at all times. Why? Because when you make your delicious plate and you're sitting at a restaurant or you're sitting in your, in your family's house and all these new relatives, these new fiance girlfriends are coming over because families only get bigger. When you have your plate of yumminess, you're going to take your block out of your purse and you're going to set it on the table. And everyone's going to be like, like you popping you pop something this holiday season? You say, yes, I am. And then you're going to have that second piece of pie because, you know, sometimes we've got to indulge. And you're going to take your block. And you're going to start a conversation about block. Now, if you have those family members in your life that cause turmoil at the dinner table and they think you're a crazy plexus person and it does not work, do not do this. Don't cause a family food fight, okay? Just move on. Um, those are people that you bless and release and you just, you know, whisper to Aunt Sally, like, here, take your block. But everybody else, just, we don't. Um, when it comes to three-day trial packs of Slim and Block, not kidding, I totally did this. I was on, um, I was on base and I was going to pick out my, my ham for Christmas or maybe it was turkey. Things to, I don't remember, but I'm not good at that. I've never been the purchaser. Like my husband was usually gone and I would just go home and have it. My in-laws would make it. So here I am on the turkey aisle, not knowing anything about butterballs. And I'm like, somebody help me out, please. And this lady, she was so adorable. Um, she, I think she could just tell I was like frustrated. And she was like, honey, do you need help? And I was like, Yes. Why are there 17 different types of turkeys? I just need one. And there's so many options. I don't do both options. And she was like, like so we just started talking about turkeys and like the best way to do it was, you know, make sure you pull out the, the stuff on the inside. I'm like, there's stuff on the inside. Like I just didn't know what I was doing. Long, long, long story short, um, I was wearing my plexus shirt. And at the end of that conversation, she was like, um, she was like, it's so funny. So people say, P Lexus, like, is that a Lexus shirt? I'm like, it's one word, it's Lexus. But she asked me about it and I, we were talking, I had a sample pack in my purse and I was like, here, I want you to try it. Come to find out she was from Australia and she was visiting. And I was like, we have a market out there, welcome. But um, you just never know when it's gonna come in handy. And I was telling her about, you know, how you can eat guilt free and, uh, at the time, I had just had Sterling, my first baby, I think, and we were nowhere near pregnant with Gentry yet. And she was like, you look so great for having like an eight-month-old, you know, and I was telling her all about it. So I want you guys to um, pretend Block is just as exciting as it is the day it was rolled out. And some of you may have been here since then, and some of you may be brand spanking new, and you're like, well, Block is going to be. Um, Treat every single product as if it just came out. There's always a new study about an ingredient. There's always a new positive article that you can find about the ingredients that Plexus uses. Um, always create excitement. I just followed up with a bunch of people and I was like, you know, I haven't talked to you. Actually, this one girl I hadn't followed up with in a year. It said December 2016 on our messages. So yes, keeping it real. Uh, I followed up and I was like, I just wanted to circle back around <laughs> a year later and make sure you knew that uh, we had a new pink drink. The one that you tried, that's, that's our older formula, it's original, and we have a Slim 2.0, and I'd love to send it to you. She hasn't replied yet. She read the message. Um, I'll just keep bugging her, but she's going to eventually reply because it's a free sample. But when you're talking to someone, just always invite them in with your verbiage, words, or everything. Um, especially when it's online and then 
your, your facial expression. Are you going to, I'm not going to talk to you if you have RBF and you're sitting there and you look like you don't want to be in target. But if you're, you know, talking and um, I, you're like, have a comment about the things you're shopping for. Or for instance, I've been in the clothing department and I hold up a dress and I'm like, you think this is cute? I mean, ask somebody, you know, most of the time you shop by yourself anyways, or, or with a toddler that tells you everything's ugly. So ask the person next to you their opinion and start conversations. So we are going to have samples and brochures. We are going to have our 30 second elevator speech. We are going to have trial packs on us, which kind of falls into samples. The fourth thing that you are going to do is run a holiday promo or special. We are allowed to have specials. We just cannot publicly put it out there of what we are doing. Have people message you for details. That does not mean post a sham wow commercial with cute Christmas light graphic. No, post something meaningful. I scroll past Christmas light graphics. I subconsciously, we already are going to scroll past that because we teach that, right? So don't make them, right? Don't make them, don't do that. Don't spend 30 minutes on a precious graphic that people are gonna scroll over. I learned that the hard way. Um, instead, post a picture of your kid wrapped in Christmas lights and say, if you want me to untie my child, you have to message me for a special. You know, make it funny. Make people um, want to know what y'all are up to. Get creative. Uh, how many ornaments do you think I have on my Christmas tree? The closest guest gets um, a bottle of X Factor Plus. I don't know. Or message me for the prize. Whatever it is, obviously be compliant. But have fun with it. You know, what's going to make people stop and come to you? Uh, our, our company president says all the time, if you're blessed, be a blessing. It's okay to give out full-size products. It still helps your PV. And sometimes people truly can't afford it. I love, love, love. Uh, last year, we, my husband and I, I think it was like Boost and X Factor because the bottles were red and green and they were like so pretty. Um, we did like some sort of Christmas post with those like workout before the Christmas party and um, get your, your body, your bodily essentials before dinner you know, and we just had like fun facts about each one and we did some sort of special like that. I think that was in our team page. I don't know if we did it publicly, but you can get creative with what Plexus puts out there. Um, sharing recipes straight from the, the Yummy and Share blog. Um, the Yummy and Share, they even have videos on the Plexus Worldwide YouTube channel of healthy recipes, uh, P96 recipes. Think about how many people are going to Starbucks. This is probably loitering and illegal, but I'm going to offer this advice anyways. Go to Starbucks and sit in there, connect to Wi-Fi when your husband is available and you have 30 minutes to yourself, and just talk to people. Buy someone's coffee and then slip them a sample pack. Pay it forward. If you're not a Starbucks person, uh, if you're in the breakfast line at Chick-fil-A, pay for the people behind you and tell the cashier to give them, say, hey, can you give this to them for me? Thank you. And usually they do. Uh, some locations are weird, but most locations will be like, yeah, or put it in a Christmas card, and then they have to because they don't know what's in it. But anyways, that those are things that you can do to get people in the holiday spirit, to make a lasting impression, to build relationships. Last but not least, the fifth thing that you can do during the holidays, and this is a good time to do it, is right about now, don't be a procrastinator, is to ask for your Christmas card list. So this is going to take a little bit of work, meaning you're going to have to get addresses and you're going to have to take a family picture. It could, you could look like H-E double hockey sticks for all I care, but take the daggum picture and ask who wants it because you will get so many addresses. People love Christmas cards. They love snail mail. Well, guess what? They're not just going to get a Christmas card. They're going to get one of these and a sample pack or one of these and a packet of Slim. And you're going to put Merry Christmas. And you're going to get your name out there. Um, that was probably one of the smartest things I ever did for my business. It wasn't even, like, we weren't even in the picture. It was a picture of my kids. But I was like, who wants it? And if they weren't a Plexus person or a team member, you better believe that that was my priority list of Christmas card stuff. And I snuck this in. Family members that are always bah humbug about Plexus, you better believe they got three or four of them. Um, but 
that is something that you can do and get excited about and you can help your teams do because these are all affordable or free ways to build during the holidays when you're overwhelmed and you feel like I don't have time for this. Yes, you do. You just have to fit it in when you're out shopping, when you're on the turkey aisle. You just have to kind of figure it out. But those five tips should get you excited about the growth that you're preparing for for the new year. Do these things now. Come January 1st through, shoot, March, April, when people start getting tax return money, that is the busiest season for all Plexus people. I can't tell you how many promotions usually happen then. Uh, that was my Senior Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire promotion, all from January to May, because people just like got excited. And was also right after Block came out, but we have awesome stuff still rolling out from corporate all the time. Um, keep your team in line with what corporate has coming out. For instance, like Super Saturday. Don't jump the gun and go straight for a convention and hype them up about that. No, focus on Super Saturday and, and do incentives and contests for your team to get them there instead of doing a Christmas contest or an end of the year special. Focus on getting your team and like, you know, if you go to Super Saturday, I'm going to enter all participants into a drawing for blank, a full triplex combo, um, a $20 gift card to Target. I don't know, whatever your team likes. But though, that's something that builds everybody's business, including yours. And it, and it will help with your leadership because you are sending them back to their resources, right? So I know you guys are going to use these tips because I'm going to see it all over my Facebook. And um, I know that's going to help because that's helped me in the past. Um, it's helped me maintain through the busy months. Uh, those, these are all tips that my team is about to get ready to start doing because I'm going to be on maternity leave this year for the holidays. And that stresses me out because I'm a control freak, but that's okay. Um, I want my team to have fun and I want them to see that it doesn't have to be a stressful time of year. So I want you guys to feel the same way. Um, that's all I got. I'm getting so out of breath. Nicole, do you have any, any anything else or questions? Oh, wait, I can't hear you. You're muted. Hold on, Nicole, you're muted. She's still muted. There we go. Sorry. Oh, there we go. No, I was just oh, going to say, your confidence and your passion just for you, for you. And I think one thing that really stuck out to me, um, and probably to a lot of us, is treat every single product like it just came out. And I love that you call it Slim 2.0 rather than like the old and the new. You know, that just, that just hypes it up a little bit more because we don't want to downplay what we had. We just, it's a 2.0 version. Um, but bringing the confidence and the excitement and fun into the holidays i think that's where it's all at we and we had a call earlier a live video to being um creative and and i think when you're creative and authentic it draws a lot of people to you but i just wanted to open it up for a couple of questions from our team uh, just in case anybody had anything i think i unmuted pretty much everyone anybody have any questions for emily before we let her go so many great ideas. Kind of freaking out. I think I hear someone. Can you hear me? Ruth, is that you? Yeah. I can barely hear you. Oh, weird. Can you hear me now? Kind of. I just was saying thank you, Emily. That was awesome. You're welcome. I'm such a marketing geek. I love all those ideas. Yay! I hear somebody's like sweet baby talking. I don't know who it is, but it's so cute. This little talking. I hear precious. Anybody have anything else for Emily? Good luck with your baby girl coming anytime soon. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a great evening and thanks for having me. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right, guys, I think uh, Emily just dropped off. Did you guys, wasn't that awesome? Yeah, that was amazing. She's awesome. She has such great tips, and I, every, um, I kind of narrowed it down into notes that I'll put underneath uh, when I post the call, but I love the sample card idea. I think that's great. I love that she said that Facebook is her um, business card. 
Because I think it's so true. You know, we are, um, when we hand out business cards, it's more times than none. If we hand them out, we probably won't have that person go and find us on Facebook. If we do, that's far and few between. But just encountering people, talking to people, building up relationships and bringing them in right away um, on Facebook. And also, I, I love the sample card idea. Do any of you guys have those off Plexus print? No, but I'm going to get them. Love for you to share them. Yeah. And I love the holiday promo special. Those are, these are such great tips. So if you guys didn't take notes, I'll, I'm going to record, or this is recording, but I'm going to um, stop the recording.